Hello, I'm Safira Lou and welcome to my channel. Hello guys and welcome to a new video this week. This is a tribute fan art piece to the amazing animation called Song of the Sea. I will talk about the art piece in a bit, but first let me actually explain to you about Song of the Sea. First of all, this uh, animation is done by an Irish studio called Cartoon Saloon and they have worked on a few other amazing pieces of animations and one of the more commonly known is um, Secret Cows, which is the other piece of animation that they did and they've also worked on Skunk Fu, uh, Puffin Rock and like little bit, bits and pieces of like other um, like short stories and stuff and if you haven't already checked out this piece of animation, I highly suggest like genuinely going checking them out. The work is so wonderful to look at, like every fa frame that you could literally take it and it's a genuine art piece. It's all a very clean, it's very, oh, it's like a, it's essentially like a moving a children's storybook is the best way I could possibly describe it and I find it very inspiring to watch, very inspiring to look at and it's very... How can I? <laughs> it's very um, nice to be able to look back on pieces of animation and see how they can inspire your work and I'm a massive fan of children's illustration and I'm a massive fan of animation as many people do already know and this particular animation studio are just wonderful. I will leave a link to their actual um, web page as it is and you can like maybe check out some of their other work and this isn't like any way, I'm going to put this as a disclaimer, none of the fan art I ever will do or will do is sponsored in any way shape or form. The reason I do fan art and the reason why I will draw fan art is because of my particular love for the show. Um, and some of you know I have quite a broad range of like animation love. I love 2D, I love 3D, I love hand drawn, I love computer drawn. I just, if it's good animation, I'm gonna fall in love with it. And if it's got a wonderful story, fantastic. Give that here. <laughs> so this piece uh, is another mixed media piece. It isn't as big as my previous one because I didn't have time to do another A4 piece. I just wanted to do something clean, something simple. So I, in this piece I've used uh, my my pencils from WH Smith which are really really cheap. They're just the WH Smith brand and they're not any particular way shape or form expensive. The lead on them is just nice and soft to use and this is before I buy any expensive supplies. I like to experiment with some cheaper supplies of the same caliber to understand how the um, it's basically how the material would work. Um, and my Windsor & Newton uh, drawing ink which I believe this one is blue just I think it's just called blue and uh, my Kanetaki uh, cartoonist uh, knit pen uh, which is a wonderful calligraphy pen to use slash drawing pen that you can use and you can get different nibs for this one and I particularly just really enjoyed using this as, um, during my uh, Inktober and it's just something that I will use every now and again I don't always ink with ink so to speak I usually use a fine liner or a ready-made ink pen but this is something different and I also I've got my pro markers in here as well my white gel pen and my uh, watercolors as well so a bit of a mixed piece with this one and I think it's just because it's what I felt like doing um, I'm trying to like with my art instead of just doing like a marker piece or a watercolor piece I'm trying to mix it up so then it's got more life to it, it's got more shape to it um, because that's what I want to do with my traditional media. I don't just want it to be one thing that I've used, I want it to be lots of many things. So with this particular piece, uh, what I have done is I've sort of wanted a yin and yang around the main character. Um, it's, oh, I just, oh. I get over how wonderful this piece of animation is it's just simply gorgeous um for those who don't know uh this is the second major feature project i believe from the cartoon saloon uh like 
and an animation department um, and it's all based on Irish folk tales and I don't want to reveal too much because um, the director Tom Moore uh, wouldn't probably wouldn't want me to just basically explain the whole plot to you I, I'd rather you go and see it yourself and it's very fantasy based and if you like fantasy work you know I probably reckon you'd enjoy this it is a delight to watch and it's just wonderful to watch um, how everything moves on and uh, how the animation works as well uh, you'll notice and I have had a look, quite a few people by the way hello Bella <laughs> my cat does tend to turn up when I've got watercolour so I do apologise for that if my cat does uh, seem to appear a lot when I'm doing these pieces um, I won't shut her out the room it's not fair she's an indoor cat she needs access to as many rooms as possible <laughs> um, with this one uh, I found that it was just really nice to be able to mix up the medias and to be able to mix it up. That's what I was talking about. <laughs> um, a lot of people ask me why I move around the piece while I'm drawing and this is so that I don't end up smudging any of the image. That, uh, sometimes I'll put a piece of paper down, especially with watercolours and with inks. You have to let them dry before you continue. and. I'm not a very patient person when it comes to traditional mediums um, because I'm mainly a digital artist as it is anyway. It's only recently that I've really ventured back into my traditional work because that's what I did before I did uni. Just mainly traditional work and, and it was when I went to uni that I found digital work and I really fell in love with it and I'm trying to push myself so then I know I, I feel comfortable with both mediums again because I feel like it is important to be able to be as comfortable and as flexible with different mediums as possible. I tend to move the piece so I can have a look at it from another angle. Um, this, the reason is for this is so then I can see any mistakes that I would be making. Um, I know this piece isn't perfect but this I wanted a lot of swirls in this and I wanted a lot of movement. I just wanted the piece to look like it was alive and I I feel like I kind of achieved it but not as much as I wanted to um, it's just could have been like so much I, I feel like it could have been more but I wasted an opportunity with it I think if the piece was bigger and, bigger and I had more room with it I probably would have been able to do that but I did stick by my guns and I did say to myself I don't want it to be a massive piece because this is just for personal work mainly uh, so yeah I mean, if you guys have like any main like pieces of animation or any like you know shows or films that you ever want me to check out, you know, just let me know in the comments down below. I'm a huge fan of animation in any way, shape, or form, and I truly believe that if it's good animation, it can inspire you, and it plays as much as a part in illustration and cartoons uh, I'm gonna say this more than art um, you can tell what your difference between art and illustration is that art is a way to express yourself whereas illustrating you are illustrating the point you are illustrating that scene it is a slight difference between art and illustration and I do want to stress that for anyone who's going into a fine arts course and anyone who is thinking whether or not um, illustration is more for them, please bear in mind a fine art is very different to illustration. They're very close knit means, but they are very different. And if anyone ever wants to talk to me or ask me questions about anything, you know, feel free to private message me or anything like that because I'm very passionate about this subject and I, I've I love fine art and I love illustration but I would say I'm not an artist I'm an illustrator because I don't illustrate I, I illustrate I don't just I, I don't just paint for the sake of it I illustrate my <laughs> so coming towards the end of this piece now and I'm just using my gel tool as usual to highlight I get a lot of questions about this it's the gel hybrid I buy them from Ryman's they're about two pound per pen uh, in America that's probably uh, I think exchange rates around about three point five dollars um, they're not exactly cheap but they're wonderful to use and I find that they really really pop 
and I've been told to, to try out the Sakori Jelly Roller, so I might try them out. I'm just going in with my pencil crayons just to pop out a few more areas and just really work on it. You'll probably see a lot more of my traditional work pieces. I am going to be experimenting a lot more and I do hope that's okay with you guys. It's just because that's what I want to do with my work. If you guys like this piece, please make sure to, if you want to, if you want to maybe leave a like and uh, maybe comment. If, if you ever want to get discussing about animation, I am here to talk about it. I get very excited about it. And if you like my videos, maybe subscribe. Uh, that would be really wonderful to see you all again. And thank you so much for all your support. I really hope to see you in my next video. Bye.